Them. It is a little chilly out there tonight. But it's not going to get a lot colder tonight. Uh, we're in the low to mid 50s right now. We may fall another five, six degrees or something like that. So, uh, and this weekend will be warmer than today. Perfect. And today was pretty good. <laughs> uh, let's begin with a look at what's going on out there tonight. Skies are clear, and it is a little bit on the cool side. 54 degrees in the city right now. But our overnight low temperature, it's only going to drop to 49. So it's about as cool as it's going to get in most areas. We'll see low clouds uh, form in the area overnight, especially toward morning. Maybe a little patchy fog first thing in the morning, and then by noon, a little sun coming out, about 68 in a great afternoon, a high temperature of 73 degrees, but gradually more and more cloudiness are returning as we go through the day. Temperatures tonight, uh, low and mid-50s out here in the Hill Country. You folks were in the 30s this morning. In fact, we saw a couple of 31, 32-degree readings in some of the coldest areas from San Saba down into Gillespie County, typically in very low-lying areas, and we're a long ways away from your average last freeze. Out here in the Hill Country, Lano, for example, the average last freeze is March 23rd. Now, in Austin, in central Austin, our average last freeze was two days ago. But in the suburbs around Austin, even like in Pflugerville and Round Rock and down into Buda, it's about the first week of March until that typical last freeze. But we may be done with them uh, here in the Austin area. These are current temperatures, low to mid-50s in our eastern counties. 54 and clear at Mabry right now. It's 49 and clear at ABIA. There is no wind right now, but uh, overnight the winds will begin to come around out of the southeast. They've already done that out of the hill country, which is why it's a little warmer there. Mole count medium today, cedar and elm trees low. Our allergy forecast for Saturday shouldn't be too bad. Uh, not any higher than today. Around the state, a little colder to the north, 35 up in Amarillo. Warmer to the south, 73 down in the valley in Brownsville. Skies are mostly clear around Texas, but only temporarily. There is a massive storm here off the California coast tonight, spreading rain and snow across the state. Uh, it may snow in the uh, Sacramento Valley floor around the L.A. basin. It may get down into the valleys. In fact, they were expecting the possibility of some snow tonight in downtown San Francisco. That has not happened since 1976. Gives you an idea of how cold and powerful this storm is. Now, it will track toward Texas this weekend, uh, 10 to 20 inches of snow in the Colorado Rockies, but it may not even bring us any rain. We're going to get into the dry air, I think, on Sunday, but before that happens, more and more moisture increasing tomorrow. Otherwise, still a pretty nice day. We'll just see the clouds picking up a little bit. Cloudy, maybe a little drizzle, maybe a little light fog uh, Sunday morning, and then could see a passing shower develop Sunday afternoon. Noon, but we'll get into that dry air before we get a chance of any rain. What we are going to see is increasing wind, especially out in West Texas and maybe into the Hill Country area uh, Sunday afternoon. There's already a fire weather watch out here in these areas, and the uh, government, uh, already the state government, already pre uh, deploying some uh, firefighting units out there. It's going to be a serious deal on Sunday, so be very careful with any outdoor burning. In fact, I wouldn't recommend it at all on Sunday, especially out in the Hill Country. Okay, here are the lows tonight. Uh, generally upper 40s, most areas. Tomorrow, low to mid 70s. Pretty good looking Saturday. Clear tonight, 49 in the city. Now, low clouds do come in toward morning, and then increasing clouds tomorrow, and a high of 73. On Sunday, a 20% chance of a rain shower, but increasing wind. It may get real windy around here by Sunday night and Monday morning. Then Monday, uh, looking good, cool in the morning, but 72 in the afternoon. And then we'll have some cool mornings next week, but the afternoon should be nice pretty much all week long.